Hello everybody. I uh, decided to make a quick video in the middle of doing my lower ball joint uh, to talk about the best radiator or, you know, radiator options for your LS Swapped S10. There's a few, but there's definitely some of my own favorites. It's the very first one, if you're on more of a budget, uh, it's really not a bad idea to just use the stock 4.3 radiator. Uh, a lot of people cut their core port so it'll fit recessed back into it. And they run, uh, I think it's late 90s. I think it's mid to late 90s uh, or early 2000s. Dodge Intrepid uh, V6 fans. They are actually most of them are actually better than uh better than most aftermarket and then my personal favorite that i've seen and this is an older one but there's this company called superior radiators they sell these radiators for first gen and i think they also fit the second gen but they come where they fit recessed back in to the core support they have mounting tabs these this one like i said is the older one um hold on let me grab my light there you go this is the older one so the fans are a little bit more bulky uh this thing keeps this whole truck cool um max it really ever reaches now is like 200 and like four 205 uh, I just street drive it a lot. Um, the new ones that they make, they don't use epoxy to seal the radiator up. They actually just full on weld it now. So it really doesn't have a chance really at all of busting. Um, their fans, their new fans are a little slimmer. Um, it just makes everything a whole lot more clean in my opinion. I definitely prefer it if you have the money, but it is... I think roughly $700. And I know that you could do a 4.3 radiator and Dodge Intrepid fans for uh, ballpark $300, $400 maybe. That's if you bought it both both of them brand new. Um, you could also do a 4.3 radiator with, uh, I know Flexalite makes really good fans. Real slim fitting. They can go on either side of the radiator. They could be pushers or pullers. Um, yeah, really, I just, I know a lot of guys run either one. Uh, I know a lot of guys that make big horsepower that run 4.3 radiators. And I know a lot of guys that make big power that run these radiators. And it's really just kind of preference, budget, anything of that matter. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the only bad thing I'd have to say about the 4.3 radiator is the plastic tanks and... The fact that you have to cut the, or well, most people cut the core support to fit the radiator back in there so they can access the cap. But other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching.